Hi everybody, it's weigh-in day! Finally, I've been waiting for this day all week. Okay, so I've had a really interesting week. Um, a lot of good things, and some, you know, kind of interesting things. Um, my mom and I spent the whole weekend together. I had Saturday and Sunday off last week. And we went through our closets, and I tried on all of my clothes, and I even found a couple pair of jeans that I had given my sister, like, years ago, because they were too small for me. I bought them um, at PacSun, like, probably senior year in high school, when I had like a goal in mind, and they they always kind of fit, but they were just extremely tight on me. And now they fit. I'm going to show you in a minute, but um, so we went through all of our clothes, and it was an awesome weekend. I felt so proud of myself. Everything I tried on was either too big or fit perfectly, so it was awesome. Um, and. Julie wrote something on her, on her vlog, or blog, whatever, uh, last week sometime, and she talked about why people gain weight back and um, why people can never, you know, maintain the healthy new weight that they've worked so hard for, and um, that has been my entire life. I mean, I have gained the weight back after every attempt to lose weight and um, the reason she said that she had found that people gain the weight back is because that they're unhappy with themselves or you know the way they look and internally they're still unhappy with who they are after they lose the weight so I kind of disagreed with that at first I was like, I don't think that I was ever unhappy. I mean, I had this, I had, you know, I had a great life. I worked, I had friends, I went to school, I would lose weight, and then my motivation would kind of start to waver, and then my willpower would start to fail, and my overindulging happened more and more. And then I slowly put the weight back. I never thought to look deeper and to really see if I was happy and um, that really made me think and after I after I wrote this whole thing you know how you know I won't have to stand a specific way in pictures and I won't have to smile a certain way to make my double chin go away I won't have to hide my body anymore I started to think about my entire life and the struggles that I've had with weight loss and I realized I really really was unhappy and I have had this terrible negative self-image and I never loved myself I never loved my body I was never proud of my body. I would never show it off. I would always try to hide it. I never liked the attention, you know, to show off my body. So this week has definitely been a week of forgiving myself for letting myself get that heavy and to be so unhappy my whole life. It's been really interesting because I would say out loud, I forgive myself for overindulging and I forgive myself for not having control and it's been a really good week. I think I've come a long way and I'm beginning to have more confidence and feel a little better about myself. It's going to take a long process though I'm sure. Still getting there. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you these jeans. These are the ones that I bought at PacSun a long time ago. They are a size 9, if you can see that. 9 regular. They do have lots of stretch in them. And, I mean, my sister did wear these for a while. 
but I wanted to show you. And even, I mean, they, they fit pretty well in the legs, but if you look, it's like, well, I still have kind of a weird thing there with my stomach, but they are slightly large, which is pretty cool. So that's really cool. And then I wanted to show you um, my final gold jeans. But this week has been really interesting. Um, I've been exercising the same amount. You know, I've been running after work. I've been really thinking that I need to kind of step up my workout a little bit. Um, I need to start like an ab routine or something because I really don't feel like, I feel like the running and the cardio is really helping, but, um, I feel like I'm not toning enough, like I need to start doing like actual weights because I'm getting down to a really low weight. <laughs> okay. All right, so these are my final gold jeans that I tried on in the very beginning. Okay, I mean, they might look like they fit really well, but look, I still have this hangover. And um, it's, they do, they can actually, you know, I can wear them somewhat, but um, I still have about an inch over here and an inch over here or so, and then a little bit here that I need to lose in order to wear them. But they actually are wearable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fantastic because, uh, I mean, they're still tight. <laughs> when I sit down, I'm like, oh, oh my god. Um, but awesome. I will try them on one more time. I've tried them on like multiple times in my videos and, okay. This video has been a lot of rambling and I'm sorry, I'm just kind of like all over the place. Okay, my weight today was 167.6. Oh! Fantastic. This is the lowest weight I have ever been as an adult. The lowest weight. And um, I am 17 pounds away from my first goal. And being 17 pounds away from my first goal made me realize that I really need to evaluate my final goal. I've been watching a lot of The Biggest Loser and uh, these people are like extremely overweight when they come onto the show and then some of these women are down to like 120 pounds after you know a significant period of time but they started at like over 300 pounds and now they're down to like 120 so I really think that I can push it a little further I'm starting to have more faith in myself that I can get below 150 so we'll see. All right, well maybe I'll update later in the week. I, um, I don't really have much more to say and plus my time is running out. So I hope I didn't bore you guys all with this video. It's really cool to fit in my clothes and I'm getting really close to being able to wear these gold jeans. All right, everybody have a fantastic week and I'll see you later. Bye.